Testing, testing. Hi there, this is uh, Sikomi Pink and I'll try some uh, Capcom Arcade Stu Stadium which I heard on the uh, play PlayStation Access they were um, um, they were marketing it on the PlayStation Access channel um, and I'll get really curious which kind of arcade games there was uh, especially since it's Capcom they have a lot of uh, great titles um, and I saw that uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, or Ghosts and Goblins, as it's called in at least Sweden, I know, <coughs> uh, was available. And I tried it, um, I think it was yesterday or um, earlier, and it's uh, it's really nice. It's hard as hell. Uh, so let's see how many times I will die today. That was boring, let's see. Ghosts and Goblins, it's called. I would like to have the um, the old graphics, however, uh, and not the updated one. That's a pity that you can't choose. <coughs> so let's dive right right on ahead. I will die a lot. I will not make it far, but this uh, it's a cool game really cool game that you can pick up I, uh, I got the ghost and ghost and goblins um, uh, game it's like you, you can download the the entire arcade um, uh, stadium for free but you have to uh, spend money on the the actual games as you see I have haven't unlocked any of these because I haven't bought them uh, so uh, yeah uh, with PlayStation Plus, I actually got the uh, the Ghosts and Goblins, which is the NES uh, Nintendo 8-bit uh, original. However, with updated graphics, but the gameplay is similar. I think it's a little uh, it's a little newer. I think with the enemies, they're uh, I think they are increasingly there's a part of, a special part of the game on the, at the second level or section that I uh, don't remember it being that hard uh, so uh, one of the hardest game actually got harder uh, so let's see let's start <coughs> uh, well, this will probably be a short stream but it will be a fun stream I think You have to uh, be this. Uh, you can insert coins, as you see, like in the real arcade. So they're having. The, so the devil or Satan, which one it's called, is snatching the princess or the girl. I don't know what she is. And he's naked at the cemetery. Oh no! Um, once you acquire a weapon, you can't get rid of it. The only way to get rid of a weapon is to actually uh, uh, to gain another weapon. It's a two hits then KO. <coughs> two hits KO. However, there are infinite uh, continues because it's an arcade game. It's uh, Because it's an arcade game, you can just pop in quarters. But since it's not a not an actual game, uh, not an actual arcade, then it's uh, oh. Oh. Second hit. <coughs> Sorry for my 
sparkling. I am Swedish, so be considerate of my my bad English. Oh, the javelin is much better. Uh, the knife, however, is the best weapon. Once you get past this section, it's uh, like a checkpoint. So that's neat. I have not made it far in this game. But for obvious reasons, it's so hard. It's a really testament to, uh, to the notorious difficulty settings. Or difficulties um, spikes with these kinds of games. The older ones. Oof. That was a nice dodge, I think. So, ah, uh, bad move. No. There is an arc to them, but these uh, flame things are not that good. However, they linger, of course, so it's it's a good. It's not too bad, but it's you, you do want a faster dagger. And here comes the unicorn, it's called. Don't know how they got that name. Yes. Ooh. I remember once I got that key um, earlier, someday I... I have played this before, but I have not reached very far. Yeah, they have this the this arc, so it's really uncomfortable weapon. Oh damn! Yeah, you die all the time. <clears throat> it's easier to um, to die than to stay alive. Here's another checkpoint. Oh, and this one's R2. I don't know how I manage it. I don't know how I manage it on the 8 bit console. Save game. I do want to save the game. That's not possible on the NES word version or arcade. You die, you lose. <coughs> it's really quarter grabber. Ugh, of course. Yes, knife. Or dagger. I don't know. These guys are the, the worst. No! Oh, god damn! I will die at this uh, intersection a lot. Oh. 
I don't remember the enemies um, popping up that frequently in the 8-bit version. Oh, get them. Oh, they're so... They're so fast. Hello, Long... How do you pronounce your name? Longivitis? Longivitis. I'm sorry for mispronouncing your name, if I am. Born and raised in Sweden, so it's... Uh, English is not my major language. You're welcome to the stream. Last time I took my time here. But so hard. Of course, even if I do it. Oh, oh at least I didn't get the flamethrower. <coughs> I think I just run. you by the left corner please oh I hate you I hate you so much oh please I have to make, take it easy here, because if I fall I will go all the way back to, uh, to the beginning. I have to plan those birds. There's also a time limit, which is really fun, haha. <sighs> some unicorns. Oh. I think it's back to the to the house. Oh god damn. your nerves what the hell that was a speedy one oh yeah
I'm sorry. <clears throat> it's my upstairs neighbor doing aerobics or something, just being really annoying. I don't know how you manage to beat the game. <clears throat> if you beat the game, however, it's uh, uh, it's all an illusion according to the game. Take so many hits. Oh, and I get such a good run earlier with those platforms. Such an infuriating game to play. Holy shit. I'm noticing that I my my attention span is shortening. Also, such a nuisance. But I don't want you there, please go away. Thank you. fucking birds oh 
Oh shit. <laughs> Please birds go away. Hate your fucking guts. Oh shit. Well time oh. oh I hate that part, please. I just want my full armor when I enter the platforms. <laughs> 